Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. How's everyone doing today on this wonderful Sunday morning or actually afternoon? Um, I'm uh, coming to you from Eden, Ohio and today I want to talk about a uh, recipe. One of the things many people think when I let tell them that I'm on a low carb diet is a lot of people think that I have to give up a lot of delicious stuff, you know. Um, and that's not so true. Um, I've posted many times and done videos on certain things that, you know, that I can have. I just have to replace the high carb ingredient of that item with a low carb alternative. And if today, actually, there's a lot of advantages uh, that we have when it comes to um, low carb eating and foods and stuff like that. And a lot of companies are coming, uh, are seeing the, that more people want to eat healthier and realize that high carb foods are actually bad for us and very addictive too. One of these things is breaded chicken or breaded anything. Many people don't realize that there is a, uh, ways to bread your food and even have fried food without using bread. And it's like called breadless breading. And today I'm going to show you uh, how you can have chicken tenders with breading without using the bread. <clears throat> Um, in the past, I have done a uh, video showing you how you can have uh, breadless ten tenders. But today, I'm going to add breading to chicken tenders. What well, I have in front of me, and I have to lift them up because I can't get the camera down, is chicken. One egg. I know it's kind of hard to see. I got them in a bowl. <laughs> and what I'm going to use as breading. Now, what this breading is, is simply uh, almond meal, uh, flaxseed meal, Himalayan uh, pink salt, very good for you, uh, chili powder garlic powder, black pepper, onion powder, white pepper, uh, cumin, I guess that's how you pronounce it, uh, and uh, uh, <laughs> pepper, um, cayenne pepper, that's how you pronounce it, cayenne pepper. Real simple ingredients. Everything good for you. And you can make this yourself by mixing those ingredients. Find the proper ratio that you like and mix it yourself. Or you can cheat like me. I'm not going to confess that I'm a great chef or great with spices and stuff like that. I'm just a regular man. <laughs> and so, yes, I do cheat. And this is my secret. Paleo powder. Paleo, and I'm going to confess, I've already tried this. I've already made it yesterday, in fact. It is very delicious. I'm going to show you guys how to make it also. Uh, but I discovered this in uh, Walmart. Uh, it's grain-free, breadless breading. And it, I read the actual ingredients... To you, and here's proof of what's in it. I'll make sure I'm getting it there. There's proof that I'm not lying to you about what's actually in this. Everything that you can pronounce, well, I had trouble, but most of you guys know what these ingredients are, or at least some of you guys do. Uh, and nothing extra. So, very healthy, very good stuff. 
and uh, like I said, I bought this at Walmart. You can buy this in a lot of stores. In fact, if you go to their website, they'll tell you where to find it. But the stores don't carry all of the selections. If you click the link that I have with this video on YouTube, uh, you can go to their website and see all the spices they have. They have more than just the uh, almond type. They also have salt-free options. And uh this is good for anyone on a low carb diet uh it's pay it's called paleo powder but it's also uh keto friendly too um so hands out to man i mean hands up to uh paleo powder for coming up with uh another great uh product for those of us on low carb diet so, back to uh, uh, making this. Now, I like to add seasoning to every portion of the tender. As you've already seen in the ingredients of what I'm using, this is already seasoned. So, we're not going to add any more to that. But, I'm going to add some garlic to... Actually, it's garlic and herbs to the chicken tenders itself. I like things. I, I like stuff spiced up. Uh, in fact, that's one of the things I've noticed uh, when I've started going on low carb diet is I don't crave the sweet stuff anymore. Uh, and let me tell you something: the first month was extremely hard. Actually, the first two weeks was. <laughs> I couldn't even walk into a store because I'd be so tempted. And let uh, for those of you that don't follow me, let you guys know that the reason I went on this diet is because I have diabetes. And I was successfully able to reverse it. But I still have to watch it because just because, you, you know, they call it reversing, but now you know you can get diabetes easily. Um, so really, in reality... If you're diagnosed with diabetes, you always do have it. But you can reverse it if caught early enough and before any great da uh, damage is done. You can reverse it and be able to uh, never be on any insulin or medications or anything like that. And stop any damage uh, from happening to your body uh, that diabetes unfortunately does. So... I take uh, the low carb diet a lot serious. I'm a lot more strict with it and stuff like that, uh, simply because of the fact that I can end up with diabetes again, and the damage will uh, occur to my body. And you know, a lot of people uh, like to say, "Well, you know, we're gonna all die anyway. You know, enjoy life now." Uh, it's not death that I'm worried about. It's the way I die. <laughs> I'm allergic to pain. So, <laughs> I don't want to suffer. I've seen people suffer from diabetes. And it's not a fun thing. It's not uh, good at all. And by the way, I just put onion powder um, on the chicken and the eggs. <clears throat> Next, black pepper. love pepper so do a lot of it I, I like using the fresh ground pepper uh, it's got a lot stronger uh, flavor to it than your pre-ground uh, added to chicken and to the egg all right now we got it seasoned except I need to flip over. I want everybody to know too, uh, I'm inside my truck doing this. That is how simple this is. Extremely, extremely simple. And for those of you that haven't caught my uh, the chicken tender video I've done before, 
Um, chicken is not something I normally would cook. Um, because chicken kind of scares me. Chicken and fish. I, I don't like cooking either one. But we're using air fryer. And let me tell you something. That is a godsend. It truly, truly is. Because I do not fear cooking chicken or fish. It might be <laughs> probably not rational. Uh, but it just scares me with the, how easy it is to mess up. And if you undercook it, you know, the dangers of that. <laughs> so, and food poisoning and all that other stuff. So, and that's why it, it scares me. I mean, I could probably do it. I actually no doubt I could do it. But it takes a lot to get over that psychological thing. All right, so I turned the chicken over, and I re -se I seasoned the other side too. Now I'm gonna mm. preheat the uh, air fryer oil it. I move some of the stuff. Uh, there goes my truck auto starting. All right, I'm going to let that preheat for a bit at 400 degrees. And I'll be right back in about in a few minutes. All right, we're back. Uh, it's about the thing. So I'm gonna take the egg and I'm gonna whip it up just so that the yolk is broke and all the spices are mixed in. the egg mixed up I simply put the chicken in the egg press it down so the all right and I'm gonna grab the breading I know I call it breading it's not really breading is it I'll press it down so that the chicken down in there so that it mixes up real good it's completely coat I will use what I'm doing is I'm using one hand for the wet and then the other hand for the dry get the breading all on top of there making sure that I'm going to add a little bit more breading to that. I don't think I got enough in there. I like bent hands down. Completely cover a chicken. The 
that one. And make sure it's completely coated. Lay that in there. Grab the next chicken. And the egg. I do is I don't want too much egg on there. So I'll let it drain off a little bit. Completely cover the chicken. Paleo powder. And then the last one. Pretty good. And that's the last one I got there. Three great looking chicken tenders. All right, wash up my hands. All right, now I'm going to put the tenders in, 400 degrees for six minutes. I'll see you all in six minutes. Welcome back. Six minutes have passed. The, the air fryer went ding. Um, just wash up a little bit, wash my hands real good. Don't want to contaminate the food. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take it out and flip each tender over. Already they're looking good. They're not even done all the way yet. Um, Uh, probably need to get like tongues or something, huh? Make this easier. There we go. Alright, so each one is flipped over. It's 
stick them back in the air fryer and set for another six minutes. And shortly we will have nice delicious chicken tenders in just 12 minutes plus the preparation. See you in six minutes. All right, welcome back. Six minutes has passed. The air fryer went ding. And now it is time to take out the chicken tenders. Ah, uh, look at that. Delicious chicken tenders. I'm going to take some of the breading now. I, I do love this breading. I mean, the breadless breading. <laughs> um, they did a very good job at this. And, uh,. Grab some of my fine china here. <laughs> Go ahead. Cut one of these open. And air frying to me is great. I mean, it fully cooks if you do it the proper time. A lot healthier for you. Because uh, there's no oil or anything like that um, You just have to spray down with uh, What I use is the spray oil um, They normally use in pans and stuff like that when you're cooking and It's very delicious. I mean it really really is delicious uh, air frying kind of gives it that more of a grilled taste to your food Um than uh, traditional fried foods. This breading is amazing. Lots of flavor, gobs of it. Um, I mean, I love it <laughs> by itself. And in my opinion, it has a lot more flavor than regular breadcrumbs because the almond flour and uh, uh, flaxseed in itself has flavor. And therefore, it just brings out more flavor along with the spices and stuff it mixes, that's already mixed in with it. Very good. So there you have it. Uh, fried chicken with the breading and everything cooked by a non-cook. <laughs> uh, like I said before, I don't. I'm, I'm not a regular cook. Um, there's a lot of foods I will not touch uh, just because I'm afraid to cook it. Um, if I can do this, y'all can do it. And I'm doing it in my truck so it's really 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 that simple and what makes it even more simple paleo powder like i said i bought this at walmart um and i know different walmarts have different things and you know they don't all have the same type of stuff i've been to, as a truck driver i've been to many walmarts but if you go to the link down below, you'll have all their products right there that you can order, have it shipped to your house. If you're a truck driver, when you get home next time, you can pick it up um, at the house. Um, if you're not a truck driver, well, they'll be delivered to your house. Um, great stuff. Very, 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 very good stuff. I love this. I will be ordering a lot more. Um, I'm going to enjoy this food. Y'all take care. God bless. And
Like I said, no excuses. Eat healthy.